Hey everyone, welcome to the third episode of String Series and in this video we are going to discuss the problem count palindromes in a string. So in this problem we will be given a string like uh, a a b b a and we have to count the palindromic uh, substrings out of the string. So a palindrome is basically uh, like if you try to uh, read the uh, string from the front or from the backward it still reads the same like a b b a is same as a b b a from backwards so this is what a palindrome is and we have to count the uh, palindromes uh, in a string so uh, like a palindrome can be uh, a b a a b b b a so and a so this whole string is a palindrome or like a b b is a palindrome a a is a palindrome and so on the combination is endless like so we are what we have to do is we have to count the palindromes and in this situation like there are two types of palindromes one is a even palindrome one is a odd palindrome like even palindrome is what we don't have any middle pivot point in the string for example like a b a b a b a b so there is no uh, middleman that separates uh, this uh, to uh, the separates this string and what a odd palindrome is that we have a middle pivot point and it mirrors uh, the uh, uh, characters on the both of the sides so this b is the pivot point and on the left we have a and on the right we have a and similarly if we add one more over here then this also still b is our pivot point and it is a odd palindrome so in order to count palindromes we have to consider these two scenarios like we can have a even palindrome also and we can have a odd palindrome also so the logic or the idea behind this behind the solution would be that we will be having like for example a b b a let's go for an even palindrome or let's have the bigger example so uh, let us take this example in this example we are having the string a a b b b a and initially let's keep our left and right pointer at the string a so initially you're having left and right pointer here and the idea is to expand this uh, left and right pointers in the left and the right direction uh, and when we expand these uh, pointers we need to check that if the if the character pointing at that particular pointer let's say if we stretch uh, this left character to the left and we found some character and uh, we also stretch the right to the right direction and we found a and if those two strings matches then definitely that uh, is a palindrome substring so currently our left and right pointers are at the same uh, character that is a and which is a palindrome in itself so our count is initially one now we expand this left to the left hand side and right to the right hand side and we find that this left uh, pointer exceeds the boundary of this particular string so we uh, omit this case next we move to uh, this character over here and we place our left and right pointers this a is a substring in itself so our count changes to 2 and now we increase the left and the right pointer so we increase our left and right pointer and we see that a is not equals to b so this is not a substring and there is no point in increasing the left and the right pointers to search for more uh, palindromes okay so this was the case next we move our arrow to b and we place our left and right pointers here so b is a um, palindrome itself so we increase to three now we increase uh, expand our left and right pointers we expand and we see that a is not not equals to b then there is no point in searching for uh, palindromes further 
skip that part next we move our arrow to this pointer and in this pointer we place our left and right uh, pointers over here and we see that we this b is a uh, palindrome in itself so we increase our pointer to four count to four and we do our expansion we expand left and right pointers to uh, this and we see that b and b they matches and so our uh, palindrome count changes to five next again we expand our searches and move to the over here and move to over here and we see that uh, uh, a is equal to a so again we found a palindrome and we increase our count to six next we if next we try to expand we see that our right pointer exceeds the boundary of the string so there's no point uh, in finding palindromes now then we have to move further next we move to the uh, next uh, character and we place our left and right pointers over here now we see that this uh, b is a palindrome in itself so we increase our count seven and we increase our left and the right pointers so we saw that we see that now uh, b is not equals to a so there's no palindrome found now and we clear this thing clear this thing and we do this pointer and we see that uh, we are placing left and right pointers over here this a is a palindrome in itself we increase our count eight and we also see that upon expanding the right pointer and the left pointer the right pointer exceeds the boundary of this string so there is no uh, further substring uh, that can be found so we see that we found a total of eight odd uh, palindromes in this search and uh, we have missed a lot of uh, even palindromes so this was the part to ca calculate the odd palindromes for the even one like in the previous uh, method we place the left and the right pointer at the same character but for the even uh, but for uh, finding the even palindromes we will place them side by side so where like in the loop if the if our iteration is at this index at uh, a so we'll place that uh, left pointer to that uh, i ith pointer of the iteration and we'll place the right pointer in the l plus one now we try to see that if this left and right pointer are the same uh, which is true so we increase our count to nine, uh, plus one which becomes nine and now we expand our left pointer and right pointer and upon expanding we see that the left pointer exceeds the boundary of this string so we uh, don't expand and move uh, a step further our ith pointer is here and we place our left pointer here we place our right pointer here we see that left and right are not the same so there's no point searching for uh, the substring we move to the next iteration we are over here now we place our left pointer over here right pointer over here so these two since left and right are equal so we increase our count and we have 10 now next we are in we expand our left pointer and right pointer we see that a is not equal to b a is not equals to b so we do not uh, proceed further and exit this loop next we are moving to this pointer and we are placing left over here right over here and we see that the left and right pointers are the same b equals to b so we increase our count to 11 and now we expand our left pointer and right pointer we see that b is not equals to a so there's no point finding uh palindromes again move to the next pointer we place our uh we place our left pointer over here right pointer over here left is not equals to right then there's no point of again no no palindromes found keep this part and place our pointer over here next we place our left pointer here right pointer here and we clearly see that the right pointer has exceeded the uh, boundaries of the string so no palindromes found 
So in total, we found 11 palindromes that existed in this string and this is the overall algorithm for this problem. Now let's have a look at the code. Okay. So in this code this event, we are um, have creating a function find palindromes that will accept our in input uh, sentence that is uh, a a triple b a in this case and this find in this find palindromes we are uh, declaring a uh, let variable count which will keep count of all the palindromes next we are having um, a for loop in which we are iterating from zero to the uh, end of the very string i is equal to zero i less than sentence dot let i plus plus and we are handling the two cases the first case is considering the uh, odd palindrome and the second case is for the even palindromes for the odd palindrome we have a utility function named as count palindromes and we are passing the whole sentence and the left pointer and the right pointer okay so as discussed uh, uh, in this video we for the uh, odd palindromes we keep the left and the right pointers at the ith index only and so we passed i comma i as a left and a right pointer in this count palindromes uh, function we are having sentence left and the right pointer we have declared a variable count which will keep count of the palindromes found in this function call and we are having a while condition saying that if left is greater than equals to zero and left is less than sentence dot length may basically means if left and the right pointers are in the boundaries of the string and uh, we and the left and the right pointers are same then keep incrementing the uh, palindrome count and um, expand the left pointer and expand the right pointer so f minus minus and right plus plus so this is very uh, simple logic that we have and we just need to change the left and the right uh, in, uh, pointers in order to uh, switch between the odd palindromes and the even palindromes so uh, in this uh, line 14 we are doing count plus equals to count palindrome sentence and for this uh, even case we are passing left pointer as i and the right pointer is uh, i plus 1 which is the right pointer okay so this was the code for uh, finding palindromes in the uh, string and the time complexity for the solution is o of n square because we are iterating for each and every character of the string uh, once and we are also expanding left and right pointers on each character so there goes n square for the time complexity and the space complexity uh, for the solution is uh, big O of 1 because we haven't used any array or hash map to uh, store uh, any information so uh, this was all in this video see you in the next one